So, earlier in the week I had my couple of days down in Woking doing my War of the Worlds walk and I've come back and I'm fired up on all things War of the Worlds and want to do something War of the Worlds-y. Um, I've scratch built um, a number of Martians over the years. I don't want to do another one of them, although I might do one. We'll see. Um, but uh, I was looking in my uh, cabinets and that and I uh, come across this fella. That it was it Pegasus, I think it, I mean Pegasus is ringing a bell. Pegasus models um, uh, of the Martian from George Powell's 1953 film version of The War of the Worlds. Um, and I did him a very, very long time ago, very long time ago, when it first came out, which is more than 10, maybe 15 years ago. I can't remember. Um, and uh, yeah, I built him, I put him in the cabinet at the back of the cabinet and I've kind of forgot about him since and uh, so I've dug him out I said oh, yeah I've got that fella and I brought him out and I thought I'll give him a bit, bit of a tweak you know me I like doing my tweaks um, so here he is he it, it's not very apparent but um, he's incredibly dusty even though he's been in a glass cabinet and at the back for a very long time he's incredibly dusty he needs dusting off um, and I think when I was making him, I, I, I was having so much fun doing him. Um, I was ignoring, you know, the boring stuff, i.e. the base. This is very dusty as well. Everything's got, look at that. Everything's got to have a good dust in before I get started. So I was thinking about uh, tweaking that, tweaking the uh, the spy device here, redoing that. Um, and, oh God, that's dusty. And... Um, yeah, also, you'll see I've got some wires coming out the back. I actually illuminated his eye um, with, I think it was LEDs. Um, and I think I've, uh, I think I've uh, broken him because when I got him out the cabinet last night, um, I can't remember, I mean, for a start, these, these wires are far too heavy duty I mean I don't know maybe this is the only wire I have with me but look at that it's almost like mains electricity um I couldn't remember what uh voltage the LEDs run off of um and I hooked up a couple of uh, AA batteries nothing happened I hooked up a nine volt battery and they momentarily come on and then they went back off and I think I've actually blown them um I think I've blown the bulbs. So um, this is going to be a bit more. If I can do it, it's going to be a bit more. Um, oh, I didn't realise that book was loose. Um, and I know that book is loose because that book is The War of the Worlds. So, yeah, look, you can see how much dust. Look, that's where that book was sitting. I think what I'm going to do, I was just going to, you know, give the base a, a, a tweak maybe put some uh, fleshy tones in his suckers, um, maybe a bit of fleshiness around the eye lenses, and maybe pick the uh, veins out. But I would like to get his eye to glow because, you know, that is a, um, that is a, a you, you know, a standout image, the Martian with his uh, glowing eye. By the way, that's a, a, a clear lens, and I've tinted it with Tamiya clear uh, blue, green, and red. Okay, and there's three LEDs, I think, behind there. So, make or break time. I could either just paint it, repaint it, and be happy with it, but I wouldn't be happy with it because the eye doesn't light up. So, I think I've got to take him apart. Look, if you see the underside, I can't remember why the base is clear. I really don't know. There's the three wires going up. Um, I, I've got to replace the LEDs. Um... I'll get some like uh, super bright ones. This is a long time ago. This is before, you know, the um, the advancement in uh, miniature LEDs. I'll see what I can do. But the first thing I've got to do, um, and this is not going to be the old oh gold, what am I doing? I've got to get him off of the base. You can see in there, he's a very fetching orange vinyl. Ah, I think he just come off the base. <laughs> I think, yep, he's, he's just, uh, he's just, detached himself from the base um hang on a second oh now the thing's fallen off hang on one sec 
There. There we go. Look. I told you it was a fetching orange. And the wires go up there. I remember the join is here. So I've got to crack that open. And I'm thinking, even if it's a messy break, it's underneath him. So I should be all right. So I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, that, that, I, I think, I, no, I, I hadn't glued it down. It, it's just been, you know, laying there for so long. It kind of like attached itself with the dust. So I'm going to give that a, a, a tweak. There's nothing really wrong with it, but I'll, I'll give that a tweak as well, especially all the wiring in there. You know, we've got contrast paints now and known oils and things like that. I can, I can do that better. All right. But, uh, Number one thing is crack him open and uh, see what I did all those years ago. All right, so there we go. Everything's dusted off, um, taking him off of his uh, base. And uh, it was surprisingly easy to take him apart. Now this, I, I can't remember. I don't know whether, I can't remember whether this is uh, vinyl or ABS plastic, um, but it, he was easy to take apart because uh, he just popped off. I think I have tried gluing it. Yeah, I can see glue marks there. I think I tried using super glue to glue it. Um, he, he's a, a very tight fit, so it doesn't doesn't really need gluing. Here we go. Look, this is the underside of his top half, and you can see there I drilled through. And what I had done. Is I had three bulbs. I can't. I can't remember this, but these these are LED bulbs, I think. So um, I had three bulbs, and uh, and I and I positioned one in each uh, lens or behind each lens, and they were a swine to get out um, um, the super glue or whatever I used. Like these two are still stuck together now, um, so they were a swine to to dig out. Um, what I've got uh, coming, oh look, you can see through there, you can see the clear lenses. What I've got on the way from eBay is a nine volt super bright LED. And what I'll do is, it's a three millimeter, so it will fit in there, no problem. Um, and I'll see if that's bright enough to, to light those lenses up. If it's not, I'm going to repeat what I did. I'm going to buy two more and it's going to be tricky because I remember this, this uh, I is a separate piece so I kind of like got them in glued in place and then stuck them onto the body what I'd have to do is try and try and push a um, an LED in place try and get one in place glue it in place second one in glue it in place third one get it lined up glue it in place all right so uh, yeah um, so next step um, I could do start maybe Having a go at those veins, maybe. Definitely going to be doing something with the suckers. Um, and definitely going to do something with this base. Oh, and the eye thing, which is upstairs at the moment. All right, so um, I've been just tweaking the base a bit. Just, um, you know, staining some of the wood that was already there. And I've been lightening some parts of it up. So that's done. The, um, the little iron or stalk broken thing. Can't really tell. Artificial light today. Sorry about that. It's the evening. Um, I've redone all the metallics in there and I've put some black cabling in there. I've redone the weathering on him um, to some degree. All right. So there he is. Um, redone the two books. So you can more see what they are right and yeah and then with the top of the fella there we go i've again you can't really tell but i've put um red washes around his eye sockets to um um just warm things up and yeah i've got that super bright led and before it arrived, I didn't know whether whether um, one is going to be bright enough or 
if it's not um, I should have one in each lens like I did before but uh, here we go look this is it oh, where's he gone there we are there's your super bright LED and it is super bright um, now look what happens when I stick him inside there come on behave hang on a sec like oh this isn't gonna work this is gonna flare out like mad because of the uh, um, you know the light level this is just now being super bright there you go look if I can just move it around a bit all right it is going to work with just one because it's super bright. What I've, I need to do and what I'm going to do, I need to basically get the, the LED dead center in the middle there, behind there. So the light is equally spaced out amongst, oh, sorry, amongst the three lenses. Um, to do that, what I'm going to do, it's not the, it's rather crude and not the best way. Basically, all right, I've got to get him dead center. Well, you're not going to see it because of, hang on a second. Let me just turn that light off. I need to get him dead center of the eye. So what I'm going to do is in there, as I say, this is going to be pretty crude. But in there, just there, I'm going to put a blob of blue tack, right? Say about halfway up. Then I'm going to put him in, push him in, get him into the right place, press down on the blue tack, which is temporarily holding in place. And then I'm going to hot glue all the way around there, all right? And hopefully that will be in the right place. Um, and, uh, and yeah. Jobs are good. One. Well, having a play around with it, I found it, it was going to be much easier to direct the LED by uh, putting a piece of uh, plastic tube in first. So you can see, I've, oh look, you can see the eye there. Um, yeah, so I've hot glued in a piece of uh, plastic tube uh, to direct the LED. So the LED basically is just behind that center point in the center of his eye. So uh, yeah, uh, let's get everything assembled and uh, and uh, and then we're gonna be done. That's him done, um, all assembled. Um, the super bright is a bit too bright. That eye is uh, a lot brighter than it appears in the film. But uh, what the hey, it's working again. So um, I'm, I'm pleased with how it's gone. Um, yeah, so uh, there you go. That's it done. Oh, if you're a fan of um, George Powell's War of the Worlds, uh, in the uh, description below, I'll put a link to um, um, on effectively speaking. Um, a few times we've been talking about War of the Worlds and its different versions. Um, and one of them was the, uh, the Martian in the house um a scene from the george powell version so i'll put a link to that one uh, down below and uh yeah one, once you go there if you type into search war of the worlds on the neozaz homepage uh, you you will find more